you're given immortality but the cost is being sent back 2000 years, would you accept and what would you do? Yeah I would set myself up pretty good, the real question is what do you do on the tail end of that, you will be alive to see the end of the universe and whatever happens after. I could do anything I wanted, probably just be a sneak archer again, no no no, I would wear heavy armor and carry a warhammer, 3 AD, sneak archer, it. This is lame but I'd go to Jerusalem and wait 14 years, find out once and for all. Edit, my thinking was this, 2000 years ago is 19 AD, and Christ died in 33, what if you were actually Jesus and you were meant to do that? My language would be nearly incomprehensible, my clothes are nowhere else to be seen, I have info on things that don't exist yet, I can claim to be whatever I want and chances are, they'll be baffled, but here's my question, am I immortal, or undying? AKA, I just won't die of old age, or am I impossible to kill? Yeah are we talking lobsters or Zeus levels here this is important. Wait, lobsters, lobsters, like jellyfish, have a life cycle that, unless intentionally killed, makes them functionally immortal. Define immortality lol, if I cut off an arm does it regenerate or am I armless for the rest of eternity, hopefully it'd be like the Hancock immortality where nothing can penetrate your skin and you can't get sick or injured in any way, and you always stay at your prime age, and then you get buried alive, regular burial wouldn't hold an immortal man scratching with his fingernails for too long I think. Hell yeah, I'm a huge history nerd, so it would be really cool to see the last 2000 years in real life. Plus since I'm immortal, no biggie if it takes a while to get back here. Furthermore, I would likely be rich as hell by the time I got back to my current life. Knowing far less about history, I would live a lackluster life. Did you hear that Rome was sacked? Oh yeah, I remember hearing about that, but it just happened, yeah. But, I'm bad with remembering dates. Go back, claim to be a god, never die, have people begin to believe that I am, in fact, a god, prophet, imagine ending up being chained in some crazy cult's basement for the next 1000 years though because of this, buried under a pile of rubble, immortality just raises the likelihood of eventually getting permanently stuck somewhere to 100%. Yes, live out history, do it like the movies, and switch out identities every 20 to 40 years or so, build my inheritance through it, do everything I'd ever want to do and be set, invent what I can, when I can and go from there, I'd be okay to be alone. Become the god emperor of mankind, of course. Oh hell no, source, I'm a woman. Probably not pretend to die on a cross and resurrect 3 days later like I did last time. That spiraled out of control real fast. Jesus Christ, calm down. Assuming that no physical aging or long term damage occurs, limbs can regrow and such, I would just jump off the tallest building every week or so. It'll probably hurt as hell though. I wonder if you would do it again after the first time. Most people don't like that kind of pain. Most people don't like that kind of pain. I'm gonna need a source on that. You'd get me stuck in a paradox I would end up changing history meaning I would never get sent back in time to change history and so on. I would accept and wait 2000 years, I have seen Bender do that, so it must be possible, boring but possible. Capitalize on some super easy ideas to pull off like indoor plumbing, I'd hoard valuable trinkets then cash them in when they were worth enough, it basically lived like McCloud but without anyone trying to cut my head off. See I would consider this, but I don't really understand indoor plumbing enough to get it working. I'd stick around when Jesus Christ had his moment of doubt and pain, making sure that pill had washed his hands and sealed his fate. Then I'd stick around St. Petersburg, kill the Tsar and his ministers, and listen to O Anastasia scream in vain. I would join the army, rise through the ranks, and ride a tank through the blitzkrieg as a general, with stinking bodies around me. I'd orchestrate the assassination of the Kennedys. I'd watch, gleefully, as the monarchy fought a century long war over gods they made up in the first place. Also, I would make people guess my name, is obviously a man of wealth and taste. Is this the you live forever but can be fatally killed, or you are immune to ailments? 
toxins, bodily harm etc. Or you can be killed but resurrect every day type of immortality. Also can I move it back to like 2400 hundred years so I can hang out with Alexander the Great. Because truthfully that's the only thing I want to do. Become the last centurion in Rome. Wait 2000 years and wait for my girlfriend and best friend to come back and find me. Reset the universe by sending a box to the sun. Oh yeah and I'm made of plastic. Absolutely. I'm majoring in history. And I love the Roman Empire. So I would immediately go there and try to learn as many things that have been lost to time as possible. As someone in the US, I would love to do this as well. But it would take a while to be able to get over to the European continent. It would be a lot of work to build the boat needed to get me there. I'm in the US too. I'm just assuming I can get a plane ticket and fly over before I get my immortality. Heh. I like that idea. You will be thrown 2000 years back in time in exactly 48 hours. Go. I would head to Jerusalem and show them a really neat party trick. Do you want to get crucified? Cause that's how you get crucified. Oh. You're immortal. Never mind. Honestly just live it. Rewrite the history textbooks properly. Regret being forced to learn horse riding and shitting in a bucket. Have an exponentially larger chance of falling in love. The fashion. Old school taverns. Candlelight. I think I'd spend a lot of time romancing people, making daring escapes and rescuing blonde women falling from zeppelins, and then turn into a giant head. So I'm unkillable, and have 2000 years of advanced knowledge of the future so, that I basically seem to be a deity, ever eat god emperor of dune, yup, charting the course of humanity from AD 19 ahead. I'd just wait, dormant, for about 1950 years, until I can invest in apple. No way, I don't want to live forever, that sounds exhausting. I mean obviously yes, what would I do, any fucking thing I wanted to, and get fabulously wealthy from high yield long term investments. Yeah, that should give me just enough time to put off all the things I should actually be doing right now. Figure out how to fucking meditate, god damn it, well you've got the right attitude for it, what's the problem? Immortal as in there's no way you can die or more like you don't age but can still die. If former is the case I would definitely accept and make sure to witness some cool events. Especially I would like to see how religious figures really were like, if they ever existed. And I want to see the Near and Middle East during its peak time. As for latter. I would be way more careful and maybe live in a village somewhere safe. Given that I can take at least as much as I can carry back in time with me. Because I would definitely want to have some history and medical books in that case. In B4 some highwayman sticks you 4 minutes into it. And you die of sepsis. Wait. Does this mean I will be able to witness my own birth causing two of me to be in reality. Then causing two immortal me's. Where one goes back in time and the cycle continues. I would probably move 500 miles away from my previous location every 30 years and stay under the radar. Spend each life learning the languages and cultures of each society. By the time the 20th century comes along I will have mastered every dialect and the norms of every culture. But suspicions if my mortality will arise as there will be better documentation. I'll steal someone's invention, given I have the knowledge I do today, and profit tremendously on it. Use some of the money to fake my death and make it into the 21st century where I will use my finances to control the stock market by investing in the typical boomers like Coca-Cola, Amazon, Google and Apple. Beyond that I would become a well-known public figure using my wealth and cultural knowledge to boost me into the spotlight. Once people catch on to my immortality I'll have become too prominent of a public figure for anyone to kidnap me and use me for scientific research. Oh also I'd set goals to shag every important female figure along my way. I'd buy some bitcoins. Yay, most people think they will be some kind of god by having knowledge from the future high chance you will be burned like a witch or piked like a vampire. Even more chance you will be stuck somewhere, like the sea, for eternity due to some accidents. What will happen on my birthday? Do I become reborn as a baby? Do my parents just accept I'm an immortal being? Introduce communism to the ancient Romans. See how much of a shit show that would cause. Grab a katana, learn martial arts and sword fighting, start beheading people while singing princes of the universe. Yes, and try and rebuild the world as a better place. 
Call me Vandal Savage. Go back in time. Pretend to get crucified. Appear to rise from the dead. Start a religion. You could make a religion out of this. If my dick works the whole time, then yes. If not, then no. Fuck that. I'm brown. I'd be the most amazing African queen. Absolutely not. People forget that our diseases and bacteria evolve with us. We are not built to handle shit from back then. You might not die but imagine spending years on end horrendously ill while trying to play catch up. No thanks. You miss out on luxuries like showers and running water. You're expected to eat food that tastes like vomit being a blend of shit that's generally what we believe to be past you. Odds are you'll be impoverished. And depending on the civilization, enslaved slash imprisoned slash tortured by nature of being immortal, you'll know none of the languages. And anyone you love, you'll outlive. Nap, I maybe begin to meet evilism in the modern day and love historical reenactment but the more you learn about how shit really went down back then. The more fucking horrible it seems. Hang around North America, push to industrialize the Native American population so that when the Europeans come to colonize, I can vaporize their ships with PPGs with clean energy. Nah because then you would have to wait 2000 years to get a pair of airpods. I'd have infinite time to practice fighting at a time when individual skill mattered way more on the battlefield. I wouldn't be able to die or be permanently injured. And guns aren't invented for 1500 years. Also for that entire time, the world is ruled by warlords. This is an amazing deal. You have been visited by the smart studying doggo. You'll be blessed with good grades only if you subscribe to comment a woods and like the video. PG. On top, food chain, won't stop, new game, hot box, that blue haze, one lot, two chains, no bras, two bays, mic drop, new stage, lights in my rear view, five crops, full race, faster than a Tesla, they say I'm exhausted.